Hey, Dominic Steele here for Daily Bible Time early on a Wednesday morning, and thanks for joining us. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 2, sentence 7. Before we get to it, a little reminder that at 3 this afternoon, we're talking to Chase Coon and Megan Best and thinking about stem cells, COVID-19, and the Archbishop's statement, a nuanced discussion about all of that this afternoon at 3. Now, sentence 7 of 1 Corinthians 2 the wisdom of God, we speak of God's secret wisdom, a wisdom that has been hidden and that God destined for our glory before time began. So it's a wisdom that's been predestined before the beginning of time. The whole of the Old Testament, the plot of the Old Testament is God working in history to undo the effects of humanity's fall to bring glory to his son Jesus and we see Jesus in the end as the first of many brothers. God has been working since before time began to do a marvelous thing for our glory. Now that is breathtaking. That is the most breathtaking thing. However, verse 9, however, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived. I remember walking around the Australian Museum in Sydney, amazing. And some of the exhibits, phenomenal, extraordinary. But this is bigger. No eye has seen this. No ear has heard of this. No mind has conceived of this, what God has prepared for those who love him. It is so great. We cannot even begin to imagine the wonderful glory that God has prepared for us, the glory that God prepared for us, that God has had ready for us, since before time began. It's bigger than anything we can possibly conceive. I remember reading Harry Potter 7, amazing plot. J.K. Rowling, amazingly imaginative author. Her eye, the things her mind can conceive, but not even her imagination. It is beyond comprehension that the God of the universe would conceive before the beginning of time, before creating the galaxies, that he would send his son to the third planet from the sun to die for the sins of the universe and thereby reconciled humanity to himself so that people could spend eternity with him in glory. No eye, no ear, no mind would have come up with that. But sentence 10, but God has revealed it to us by his spirit. We would never have conceived it, but God has revealed it. The reason we can know it This marvellous passage, the reason we can understand it is that God through his Spirit has revealed it. This is the primary work of the Holy Spirit, to reveal Jesus, to reveal the cross of Jesus to us. What is the difference between someone who is a Christian and somebody who is not a Christian? The difference is not fundamentally morality. The difference is that God's Spirit has been at work revealing to one the message of Jesus, the message of the cross, and that God's Spirit has not been at work in the other. Now, we as a church, we as a ministry, as we run introducing God in our groups, um, or as we teach the Bible each week, um, at every point we want to, as we teach church, as we do church, we want to at every point be pointing people to the cross. Now, we won't necessarily do it eloquently, we won't necessarily do it wisely, we won't. But my hope and prayer is that we'll be 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 5. As we do that, as we preach of the cross, there'll be an amazing demonstration of the Spirit's power. And that as we speak, God will pour his Spirit into people's hearts so that individuals can move to maturity and see this message of the cross. Let me lead us in prayer. Our Father God, we just thank you that this amazing idea that you had before the beginning of time No eye has conceived of this. No ear has heard. We could could never have come up with it. But you, you did, to send your son to die for us, that he might reconcile us to you, that he might be the firstborn of many brothers and sisters. We thank you so much for that in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time this Wednesday morning. And look, I do hope you can uh, catch up with um, this afternoon's edition of The Pastor's Heart as we think stem cells, COVID-19 and the Archbishops. Thanks for joining us. 
do like below if you pr if you prayed with me or write amen in the comments